My, my, was there a lot of horror news at San Diego Comic-Con this past weekend. My name is Anthony from the Night Support, and today we are going to be talking about a lot of the horror news and trailers that were released at San Diego Comic-Con that are out now on the internet for you to check out for your enjoyment. Without further ado, let's just get this video started. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> what time they vote? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start, of course, with the top news that actually struck Comic-Con of day one, which is going to be the IT Chapter 2 trailer. Now, the highly anticipated sequel to the IT uh, franchise is coming uh, to an end in September, and we're going to see, of course, what is going to be uh, happening with the uh, Losers Club as they come back to Derry 27 years later and face off Pennywise for the last time. Um, we we're gonna. The trailer was very promising and it showed a lot of uh, the horror aspect of it. Um, this director, he he did the first one. He took the world by storm and it was just a fantastic movie. So I'm super excited to see what this next one's gonna have. If you're a fan of the original, you know a lot of what's gonna happen. They all come back to fight Pennywise one last time, but they all get scared with their different fears one last time. And this trailer is none short of showing that a darker side to that. Uh, a lot of the casting looks amazing. They look just like the kids, and I am super excited for that. Another big thing that hit San Diego Comic-Con this week was the Walking Dead Season 10 trailer. And it was confirmed that this is going to be Michonne's last season on the show. So either she's going to get killed off or she's going to get raped where she just takes off in a helicopter and stuff like that. Um, but this, this season looks pretty promising. They're going to go to war more with... Um, the Whispers. I didn't really watch season 9 only because I was starting to lose interest in the show but I might rewatch it and stuff like that uh, just to kind of catch up and stuff so I can keep reporting on it. But it looks like they're going to go to war with the Whispers and stuff like that. It looks like Negan's going to be more involved with the gang. I don't know if he was in the last season. Like I said, didn't watch it all but um, I'll try to catch up. Fear the Walking Dead, they released another trailer for their, um, of course, uh, season as well. I don't know what season they're on. I don't really keep up with that show. I watched like the first season and that was it. But uh, Fear the Walking Dead is returning again. And I think they are furthering their crossover with, of course, The Walking Dead, which is when they introduced Morgan over to Fear the Walking Dead, that uh, increased their crossover. So that's going to be fun to see more of a crossover with the two shows. Um, Creep Show. That was a big hitter at Comic-Con. Now, Stephen King's Creepshow is returning as a Shudder exclusive, and they're rebooting the entire um, uh, show. It looks amazing. It looks scary. It looks a lot of practical effects. It looks like an original kind of touch on it as well. It looks like they're paying on homage to the original, of course, while rebooting it. It just looks amazing. I'm personally excited for this show. I, I've actually been kind of following this for a while. I love the original, and I just love anything to do with Stephen King. So. This is, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, the last thing that we got was the Walking Dead movie teaser. Now, the only thing we saw in this teaser was, of course, the helicopter heading to what looked like Atlanta. And it just said The Walking Dead. And it said Rick returns uh, in this movie or something like that. It is actually going to be hitting theaters and Skybound are putting it out in Universal. So this is going to be pretty big budget. We're going to see the return of Rick, what happened to him after he got on a helicopter after that bridge exploded. And... Um, who picked him up. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, what's to come in the future. And San Diego Comic Con, outside of horror, was just an amazing weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications. It really helps with the support. And of course, leave some comments below what you thought of San Diego Comic Con. Follow me on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter, where you can keep all up to date of what I've been posting, what I'm doing, what I'm editing. Anything and everything that involves the Knights of Horror will be on my social media. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.